YouTubers, this is Robert Sackler here. I'm going to do a layout update on my HL scale layout. It has been a while since I did a last layout on this particular layout. I've been busy with everything else. You've seen me post the videos of my grandfather's layout, actually helping out with my dad's layout, and being involved with the Railroad Club down there. We've been doing a lot of work down there too lately, and that's coming out really nice. But I'm going to show you a few things I've been doing to the layout. I have reworked the yard again. They're probably going to call me crazy, but I tore up the yard again and relayed it because I wasn't really too happy still how it was laid out. And I don't want to do it when they run nice and smooth. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around. I had a couple people ask me on YouTube my railroad some questions, so I'll figure I answer questions and show everybody else too and how I achieved the look I got now. And here we go. Let's start down this end. Now, as you remember, there used to be a building right here. That one out, it's on the other side of the layout. I'll show you momentarily. I still kept the switch in. So now I ran the track all the way around, right to the half of the layout. This track is going to park my work train now, not inside the yard. I'm going to move that toward the out a little bit. Now as we come around here, we come to one turnout only on this side. Then we come over. To the other turnout, which is the curved turnout. Now, let me get my paper out because I actually wrote these down real quick. Michael asked me questions about turnouts. Michael, the, the answer to turnout, these are all ready to go. That curve, this one, this one, this one are curved Pico turnouts. Ready to roll. This one is the number five Pico turnout. <clears throat> Now these two are just for uh, arrival of the departure track, uh, move engines around, switching, and these two are my regular um, yard leads. I will have bump stops on the end of that, and that's going to hold my yard, my yard, bleh, bleh, hold my freight cars. Now, as you come up here, we come to this first turn right here, which is the number five. I don't remember what name this. I don't know what brand this turnout is because I got it off of eBay. We come over and we go to a Y, same brand, I don't know what brand it is, came off eBay, and that goes into my car repair shop. Now, we go back up, we come to a number six turnout, which comes up behind the car repair shop to a dead end. And I'll have a bump stop here too. That is going to be a track where the locomotives come up, come to the track, one or two, I think I get two inches on this end. Put the switch, come back, this way, and go into the engine service facility. Now, I will have a couple number six turns. I'm going to have come out a little bit to like maybe right here. And I'm going to have two number six turns this way, one left, one right. And I'm going to reconnect the engine service facility. To extend all the way out there. Now I had another gentleman, quite, uh, gentleman by the name of Kevin asked me about track spacing for the engine service facility. Now I had a three-way wide turnout up here. I didn't really have to space it. It just came out by itself and over. The way I space, well I'm still having a chance to figure out how I'm going to space this here because it's a little bit wider than the yard tracks. But just to give an idea of what I did, I took a piece of cork, I laid it in between the tracks upside down, and I spaced it out that accordingly. So it was nice and firm, and I nailed it in place. Now on the other side, where it's a little bit wider, I flipped it around, and it did the same thing. I want that just a little bit wider than here, in case I want it. I have a person walking down here, and this one right here, I may have a small dirt road, just enough for one pickup truck to come through here. Okay. Now we come around to the other side of the layout real quick. And that's where the other building went. We have a couple of passion cars parked over here right now.
But there's my warehouse district. Oh, I forgot about those. So, that's where it's going to stay. This side hasn't changed, with the exception of the building. Still got the cross over. And I still got the uh, scrapyard over here. <clears throat> the only thing that will be changed is this track right here. Um, pull all up to this point right here. I'm going to have the road that come all the way down to the end. Put a bump stop. And this is going to be a tunnel. And this is going to be my interchange track where another railroads can come in and out and interchange with CSX. Those are my friends. Oh, this here is an in scale layout. What's my HL cars are on right now? My mother works at a vet's office, and uh, the doctor there heard about my dad and doing modeling trains. And he had this when he was a kid, and he didn't know what to do with it. And I guess it's his family didn't really want it no more, so he gave it to us. And he asked us to finish it up, and if we display a train show, so I let him know he'll come by and take a look at it. So, I just cleaned all the track out not too long ago. I'm going to have, I'm going to finish this layout up. And the only thing I did was change this mountain up here so I can get inside and get to the derailments if I want to. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to finish up back here, the track. I don't think we're going to do it back here yet, but I have an in-scale layout now, too. With that being said, now I have four scales. N, H, O, O, and S. Can't make up my mind, I guess. But. That is what I have going on right now. And as you, if you compare it to videos of the last yard I had to here, you'll notice all everything is nice and flowing. I should have any, I could run a Union Pacific Big Boy on here with no problem now. Before, I was sketchy. The next step will be I finish up let's yard the uh, engine facility tracks, get that lined up ready to go. Line up the uh, tracks to the car repair shop. I still need to finish the building. I have not done anything with it since the last update on that particular building. And after I get the tracks laid out, I can go ahead and start doing some wiring. No wiring has not been put on a layout yet because no one else. We can't make wiring what the hell we want right now. So, that's what I have going on right now, guys. Now, do you guys have any other questions or any comments? Any, um, anything you want to ask how I did it or what's, what's going to be done? Feel free to ask and I'll answer your questions. Like this time around, when there's a few people asking me questions, I just want to make a video about it. It's easier to tell everybody than type it to one person. So, suggestions, comments are always welcome. And as always, thank you to all my subscribers who subscribed to me. It's been a really nice experience. It's been a nice extended family to everybody. And you all have a happy railroading. Have a safe 4th of July. I am going to be staying home. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I may not even go to the train club tomorrow night. That's I just don't trust the drunks out there. So whoever does go out, please be safe. And y'all have a very good night. Happy 4th of July. Happy railroading. And this is Robert Sacco out. Good night.